Hello everyone, my name is Azatru and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront news video. Today we got some huge news about Battlefront. We got our first look at the Bespin and Death Star expansions, an update to the fourth expansion, plus a update to the PlayStation VR experience in Battlefront, and we got some possible hints and teasers towards the next Battlefront coming next year. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, make sure you do so you'll never miss another future Battlefront news update. So during the EA Play press conference, we were given a look into the future of Star Wars games. And in videos after this one, I'll be sharing with you news and gameplay of Visceral Star Wars game, Respawns, and future other Star Wars games as well. Now, Battlefront is getting more free content later this year, and they've also brought forward the fourth DLC to December instead of early 2017, which is awesome. Now, let's see what Bespin and the Death Star has in store, shall we? With Star Wars Battlefront, we wanted to really be able to bring people into the world of Star Wars like never before. What excites me now is bringing in more characters, more planets, more environments, more eras. And that's why we're super happy to have both Motive Studios and Criterion contributing in a significant way. For the first bit of gameplay, here is Cloud City and then some cloud cars and Lando. Now, this shot is great because we finally get to see the man himself along with a few other teasers. The Rebels have Bespin outfits, which I like the look of, and Lando seems to have some guards with him. The new weapon on the left could be the EE4 if it is not the EE3 lookalike in the hands of the Rebel on the right hand side. We should be getting a trailer and more information on Bespin in the coming days. Moving on to this fall's expansion, the Death Star, you can see we are going to be getting those tight corridors inside the space station. Also, judging by the computer screen on screen, we will be getting trench runs part of Fight Squadron, which is awesome. We'll also be getting Bosk by the looks of it. As you can see, his model and uh, playable character is actually on screen right now. So they are definitely developing him at the moment. So I'm guessing he will be the villain in the Death Star DLC. They also did say they're very, very excited about the fourth expansion and Seeing as it's been moved to December, I have a feeling it's definitely going to be based on Rogue One, if I'm not mistaken. We also got our first glimpse of Battlefront for PlayStation VR. Flying X-Wings confirmed. It has also been confirmed Criterion are working with DICE on this project and it will be releasing late this year on PlayStation VR exclusively. Now, Criterion are the people behind uh, Burnout, I think it was, and a bunch of other racing games that are known and loved, and they also helped make the speeder bikes within Battlefront because DICE actually did not do them themselves, which is quite interesting. Moving on to the next Battlefront game. There's no point in making something in the Star Wars IP if you're just going to do what's been done before, right? So it's a fantastic opportunity for Motive to really tell the world what we're about. And we're going to bring that to Battlefront, which is, it's crazy. It's incredible. So in 2017, we are going to be getting a new game from the new movies. DICE are collaborating with Motive, which is a new EA studio, and they have started working on the game, but they are going to be listening to all of our feedback. They've listened to our concerns and complaints about the current Battlefront. So does this mean Battlefront single player is coming next year? Maybe. Now, innovation in areas are coming as stated by Jade Redmond, who is head of EA Motive. And I can't wait to see where these new films take us, as we only have episode seven, episode eight will be out the same time. And then who knows, maybe we'll get some expansions that are to do with episode nine before it releases. The screen here seems to hint that Kylo Ren is being teased at and episode seven in general. There was also some concept art which displays the First Order's TIE Fighters and more. Space battles are in this game too? I would hope so. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a like. And if you missed any of the two previous videos on screen, be sure to check them out and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront news video. Goodbye.